Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night, ladies and gentlemen, and all in between. And welcome back to part 11 of the Lord of the Rings Online, my Bayorning playthrough. So, a few things have changed from last I left off. We finally got ourselves a new mount. We got a goat. Oh, he's pretty badass looking, and there's something quite nice about a being of nature, like a Bayorning riding a goat, um, having access to more special mounts than a regular horse. I've also done a little bit of uh, some deeds in the background, and I will do a deeds probably in the background as well, because it's mostly just fighting monsters and traveling to locations. Um, but it's been really fun actually, and gives us some extra XP, which is always nice. Most of the deeds I did were kind of Slayer deeds, um, defeating monsters, yes. and then, then Slayer advanced deeds, which meant defeating more monsters. So, you know, like a Slayer deed would be like kill 20 spiders, Slayer advanced kill 50 spiders. Uh, but it serves to give you reputation. Um, so our reputation has gone up for Bree by quite a lot. We're almost to the next level. Um, I don't know what advantage, uh, advantage reputation has, but uh, I enjoy doing deeds, so we'll keep doing them anyway. But for now, we're continuing on with a couple of our quests. Uh, so we're going to talk to Clothar and find out about this astray bay who seems to be terrorizing this town. I will show you where I saw that great beast of a bear. All right, come with me. I'll show you where I saw that great beast of a bear. But if we see it again, we need to protect me. Do you agree? Because otherwise, I will stay right here. Thank you very much. And we'll do that. There's so much to do in Bree alone, never mind going to across Middle Earth. Oh, I do not like this creepy forest. But I will show you where I saw that great beast of a bear. Oh, we're in the old forest, actually. I was just going to say, we haven't been to the old forest yet, or to Buckland. Oh, I don't know about this, Renlina. I know I said I would show you where I saw the giant bear, but as we approached the spot, I was like being here less and less. This was a mistake. I suppose I've come. We've come this far. Yeah. One of my favorite songs in the soundtrack for Lord of the Rings Online is actually Tom Bombadil's House. So, hobbits don't like to go much further than this in the daylight. You might be one of the big folk, but don't go off by yourself. Oh no! Did you hear that? Oh, we can beat this bear now. I can't look. It's a deer, my friend. Nothing to worry about just yet. You speak soothing words to the deer in the language of animals, words taught to you by Grimbeorn and others of your kind in your youth. The deer's panic gradually subsides, though its ears still twitch at every sound. The frightened creature's demeanor tells you that Clothar is right to worry, a large predator is nearby. You spoke to that deer and it understood you. I heard you, Renlina, and so did that deer. I don't mean in the way that someone might speak to the rabbits that haunt a body's garden scaring them away with, their, with his voice, I mean that whatever it was you said to that deer, it understood you, as I do. How is it you came to learn the language of animals? I wish I could speak to animals. That is some trick. It's one of the few privileges of being in one of the Bay Ornings. Community with nature. Does a bird wonder what life is like as a hobbit? If a bird ever asked me, I would tell him that it is an enjoyable life. We get plenty of fine dinners and quality pipe weed and enjoy lives of comfort. I read you wish you were a hobbit now, Runin, eh? Alright, where were we? I was thinking I would make a cart now. Oh wow, there's the rampaging bear. Uh oh. You see something in the creature's eye that gives you a pause. Your ancestor Bayon had a special kinship with the creatures that made their homes near his lodge, and you have inherited some measure of this quality as well. You try to draw upon this portion of your nature to calm the mighty bear before you. What has driven this creature to such rage? It seems that your words have some effect, but suddenly the creature shakes its great head and redoubles its assault. Send in the bees. Now you are certain, in the bear's eyes you see fear. You reach out to the bear once more, drawing upon your natural affinity for the creatures. A low rumble confirms your belief. Something has put a great and terrible fear into the bear, setting it into motion in this frenzied assault. Friend, you speak to it in reassuring tones, and the bear speaks its name. Suddenly a great shudder seizes the creature's body, and he attacks once again. <laughs> Do not wish to fight you.
Bramble Snarl. The fear in Bramble Snarl's eyes is now gone, replaced with different emotions, respect, and admiration. Your calming words and the strength of your resolve have brought Bramble Snarl back to his senses. In the language of his kind, he tells you of a frightened wraith that stalked the plains where he lied the, the barrows of long dead men. The visage of that terrible king awoke in Bramble Snarl a primal fear that he could not shake the madness that held him in its grip. With a thankful snort, Bramble Snarl turns and walks back among the trees. So long, friend. I can hardly believe it. I knew there was something peculiar about you, Runelina. Not everyone can speak to animals. After all, can they? You, you're a skin changer. Not just tails, but tails, as my old dad used to say. I cannot believe that there are really people such as you in this world. For a moment, Clothar looks as if he is going to faint dead away, but then he recovers himself and sticks out his hand. It would be an honor to shake your hand, Runelina. Or did I say that must be a few folk like you in the world. That is a shame, for you could have killed that bear but chose not to do so. Instead you should have shown restraint and mercy. This world could use more like you if you want the Hobbit's opinion. Let us leave this forest behind, Runelina. I have had quite enough adventure for today, thank you very much. I was thinking I might create a Hobbit character just for roleplay and have him just stay in the Shire and not go out questing and doing things. Ro Hobbit roleplay and L roleplay seem to be the most um, common in Lothro, at least. One I've seen. I have heard tales of skin changers, but I never thought I'd meet one. I think I expected them to feel scarier or more wild. But you seem like a pleasant enough lass. I just thought you were really tall. You showed some real compassion for that bear. I do not think most adventurers would have done that. Talking to it instead of killing it, I mean. Sometimes talking is harder, but I say the effort is worthwhile if it saves the life of an innocent. Well, skin changer, you opened my eyes. I think that is enough self-discovery for one day. Now I could do with a slice of blueberry pie and a nap. You got a deed. Complete rattling roar and complete master the basics. Rattling roar is just using that 150 times. The master the basics is using slash 500 times. That's a good quest. I like that they have special class quests for everybody. Um... Yeah, I, I think I want to make a, a human archer. Uh, well, I, I probably will make a character for every class at some point and just play them on my own time. Um, I mean, I'm more like the idea of the character creation rather than going through all of the story again. Um, but we'll see what happens. Now, we've got a quest just here. Which is to hand in the satchel to uh, Bill Fernie. <laughs> or ring the doorbell for his assistant. Well, it's not night time, so... Oh, it's him himself. Why are you bothering me? Ha! <laughs> Soon Sharky's men will have all the Bree well in hand. With cowards like that little worm, Adso on the heel, there's no question of that. You just tell Adso that his payment has been received, but he better have another ready next week, or it'll go badly for him. <whistles> you wouldn't try and take me on with my goat, would you? We're almost level 17, which is good. We'll be in Brie, I think, until about level 20, 22. Then we head off to the Lonelands. Um, I'm working our way towards Rivendell. Hello. Another payment? This was supposed to be the last. I'll be driven to ruin that rotten... Ugh, but enough of my blather. I shouldn't burden you with my problems. No, I should thank you for your help, friend. Truth be told, I was a bit frightened to go out there at night by myself. If I could impose on you again, I have some true debts to pay and, and to a nicer sort of folk. Could I take a moment of your time? I don't know what to do. The brigands told me to pay them three equal payments, and that they would spare my workers and myself. I held my part of the bargain. Now they want more. I haven't anything left after sending workers to Buckland for supplies and the meager rewards I can offer folk for helping out here and there. I cannot allow my workers to suffer for my mistakes. I fear I may need to stop work on the inn, but Chief Watcher Grimbriar is working against the brigands here, so I must ask, would you be willing to help me send them a message to them? I hear that you have already done some work against the brigands before. I am sorry if I am mistaken. But these are evil men and they must be stopped. If you are willing to help, could you return to the old Sweetgrass Farm and send a message to these brigands? The old Sweetgrass Farm is a short distance northeast of here. So that was while we were helping out uh, Thornley. We were dealing with old Sweetgrass Farm, but it's no harm taking them out. It'd be pretty easy enough. 
Um, so since you've been there before, I'll cut the video and I will see you back at Adso in a little bit. Is there something I can do for you? It's done then, and too late to change now. Oh me. I fear I have made a greater error than ever before. One of the men came here and I stood up to him. I feel that this may have been an error. Please stay a moment. Before you run off, I wanted to ask you for another favour. While that brigand was talking to me, I saw some of his second seconds bullying one of my workers while two made off with a lot of my produce. That produce fields my workers and keeps them strong. I need to get that back if they are to remain hale and hearty. I am certain you will find that the produce has been distributed to any of these foul brigands in the southern brief fields, but there are plenty near the ruins where you are going. Would you recover the produce for me? Sure will. Could I take a moment of your time? <laughs> By standing up to the man, a fearsome brigand named Dirk Hawthorne, I fear I have doomed us all. He set up a camp immediately to the east, just on the south side of the ruins there. He threatened to return with enough forces to stamp out my little homestead before it can be reorganised as anything more than a burned patch of land. <laughs> Marry me, what a fool am I? Please, Runlina, help me fix this error so that I can see this dream realised. We'll do that, no problem. We also got level 17 while I was killing those bandits. Um, so it should be no problem at all taking out this, this Dirk fellow. Although we're on the borderline of level 17 for this quest. Um, I assume that's him there, actually. No, actually, that's just a lieutenant. Oops, I'm into a tree. Dirk himself. There he is. And there's some Azul's goods, actually, as well. Right, let's go bear for this. <laughs> That actually. The Bjornings have a great, um, great yield. Let's take out Dirk. There's quite a lot of them. The bees will finish him off. Oh, we were defeated. Unfortunately, for our first time, I wasn't uh, paying enough attention to that, unfortunately. That's a real shame, because we were, I just earned a new title about being level 17 and not getting defeated. Um, and I thought I was going to go a bit further than that, maybe level 20 or so, but it wasn't meant to be, it seems. Yeah, back to poor old lad, so. Hello? You did it! Look at these onions, still green and fresh. My workers, as well, are indebted to you now. I haven't much more to give, but you have earned at least this much. Thank you, Runlina. Oh, nice, we got, a new, we got enough for the reputation. Um, we are known to the men of Bree. Your name is now known throughout the entirety of Breeland, and the people know that you act in their interest. We have known true Bree as a title. Our reputation changed to acquaintance. Very nice. As a new deed to become a friend um, by doing more and more quests, a friend to the men of Bree. Hello. With Dirk Hawthorne gone, I wonder if we can give Bill Fernie a bit of his own medicine. What have you got in mind? Please, stay a moment. Look, friend, I have one more favour to ask of you, and it's a terrible thing, too. That fills me with shame to talk about. You know that Bill Fernier had you pay off before? Well, he sent a message telling me that his henchman, Brunemore, will be after me. He went so far as to tell me that the nave is west and north at some place called Outlaw's Haven. 
It seems all his big talk is backed by this fellow, and if he and if he is to come here, this scant crew will be useless. But you, you've proven yourself over and again. If you can drive off this Brunmore, maybe I can get out of this mess. Oh, nice, we'll get a new helmet as well, actually. Uh, or leggings. Let's get the leggings, because they're heavy armor. Get rid of him for me, and I swear it's the last thing I'll ask of you, and I'll pay you well, too. Apparently the outlaw's haven is west of my cabin, a little ways north, with watch posts and a fence encampment on a hill. So we'll do that to finish off the Adsar quest, and then we can start doing some of the other quests in his, uh, in his camp. And that'll be the end of the video, I think. There he is. Let's take him out. Oh, he's healed himself. Send in the bees again. But he's done that time. Wasn't too bad at all. Now, I'll see you back at Adsos. Is there something I can do for you? Thank you for your help, Runlina. Though I wish I didn't have to ask you to do it, I should have been the one. But I'm such a small person in this big world. Still, you've done everything I could have asked for and more. You'll always be welcome at Adsos. We'll take the leggings. I certainly hope to see you have your successful uh, in at one point, Adso. <laughs> so, I'm going to leave it there for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. We've got a few more quests to help uh, in Adso's camp, so we'll do that next time. So if you can, please consider giving a like or subscribing to the channel to join me on this journey across Middle-earth, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Take care and have a good day.